sports fans, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolk. Today we're going to discuss some things that are going on in the sports world. And I'm going to, this is going to be a new series that I'm going to start um, called uh, Sports Dirty Laundry. And it's going to be about stuff that's going on behind the scenes in different sports and, um, you know, dirty laundry. Because doesn't everybody like dirty laundry? Everyone does. It's what makes headlines. It's what used to sell newspapers when there was such a thing. And <laughs> just kidding. There still are newspapers, but they, uh, they're going, they're on the way out. But anyway, um, so we're going to talk about three big topics that are going on. Dirty laundry type talk topics that are going on in the sports world right now. Number one on my list is the Trevor Bauer situation. Now, for you, those of you who are not familiar with this, Trevor Bauer has been accused apparently of sexual abuse or um, sexual assault of a woman that he was dating. He says it's consensual. There are some text messages which kind of tend to say maybe maybe it was consensual or seem to back that up, but still the stuff that's in the text messages, um, it, it's questionable whether you should be doing that um, at all, whether or not the woman wants it. So. Um, it, it, this is just a bad situation uh, for Trevor Bauer. Um, he's right now he is on administrative leave um, and uh, with full pay. While the Dodgers, I think that I'm kind of confused on who's investigating this. Well, while the Dodgers uh, investigate it and they have, you know, put him on leave with Major League Baseball's blessing, uh, paying him. Probably that's why uh, Major League Baseball, the union, hasn't really um, come down on it too bad, um, or you know. But anyway, so and if they need more time, I'm sure they'll ask for more time to do their investigation, and it's possible that Major League Baseball would grant them more time to do the investigation. So we'll see what that comes up with. Um, I don't really care to speculate on what's going to happen, what's going to end up happening. It's possible he'll be suspended for quite a while uh, for, you know, violating Major League Baseball's conduct um, rules. But um, we'll have to see. And that also probably depends on whether there's uh, legal ramifications through the courts as a result of this or whether there aren't. And moving on to the next topic and closely associated with this is Deshaun Watson's situation. Now I've done a video in the past on the Deshaun Watson uh, situation and I've also done a video on the last one I'm gonna talk about. So you wanna stick around for that. But, um, and you know, I'll put a link to the um, Deshaun Watson video in the, um, on the end screen and if you wanna click on that and watch it that's that's greatly appreciated actually so anyway Deshaun Watson as you may or may not be aware was um, accused by I believe it's up to 22 women of sexual abuse sexual assault um, what have you in connection with uh, getting massages from these women um, so far, it's all been civil cases. There has been no criminal charges filed against him uh, that I know of by anyone. So it's all civil cases. And the relative silence for the last few months, I think, on this subject tend to indicate that the uh, situation is being resolved behind the scenes, uh, probably by payments to the women uh, of various amounts depending on their 
um, involvement and their um, the credibility of what they are saying, I suppose. And that's probably being worked out between the lawyers right now. And uh, so far, the NFL has taken no action. They've investigated, or and they continue to investigate, but they haven't taken any action. They haven't suspended him. They haven't put him on the commissioner's exempt list. Now, um, unless you're not familiar with that, the commissioner's exempt list is basically a list that a player goes on where they are not allowed in the facility, they are not allowed to play football, they are not allowed to participate in football activities, but they still receive their salary while the NFL conducts an investigation or waits for an external investigation um, or uh, the legal process if something is going through the legal system to be resolved. But they haven't yet done that and they don't really have to do that yet because training camp is not officially opened yet. That opens in July at some point in July. I'm not sure exactly when, but I, I believe it's in July that training camp's open. So they don't have to take any action yet. And so they, they're they probably waiting to see if this gets resolved behind the scenes and taken care of. And if it does, there's no need in theory for them to do anything. Now Deshaun Watson, well before these um, charges even came out, said he was unhappy with the Texans organization and he refused to play another game for them. So you have a situation where there, there's only one situation where Deshaun Watson ends up playing this year and playing for the Texans. The one situation in which um, Deshaun Watson would play for the Texans this year is that these civil lawsuits are not resolved yet and he goes to camp thinking he's going to participate in football activities, acting like he's going to participate in activities, but hoping to be put on the commissioner's exempt list and then the NFL doesn't put him on the exempt list. If that happens, he's reported to training camp, he's starting to take uh, uh, participate in football activities and he's not on the exempt list and so he would be locked into, in theory, playing this year. He'll probably go to training camp if these lawsuits are not resolved yet, the civil lawsuits, he'll probably go to training camp expecting to be put on the commissioner's exempt list in which he will then get paid and not have to play for the Texans. But if that doesn't happen, if they don't put him on the exempt list, then he's locked into having to play for them unless he forfeits a lot of money. But if the civil lawsuits are resolved, before this, he'll probably refuse to play for the Texans. The Texans will realize that and probably try to trade him once the lawsuits are resolved. But the Texans really can't trade him yet because his value isn't as high as it could otherwise be if these lawsuits had been resolved and were in the rearview mirror and behind him. With those still pending, with any actions still questionable, no team is going to pay the top dollar that they would be able to pay in player personnel, draft picks, whatever, um, for Deshaun Watson if there's still a cloud hanging over it. Um, so, so that's where we are with the Deshaun Watson case. He, uh, the, I, I don't think the Texans plan on him at all playing for they have several quarterbacks in camp. They drafted a quarterback. I think they're ready to move on from him. They're just waiting for the situation to be cleared up to the degree where they can trade him and get top, uh, you know, a top return for him in a trade, which is not the situation yet because the civil lawsuits aren't resolved. And then that takes us on to our third topic that I'm going to discuss, and that's Aaron Rodgers who, like Deshaun Watson, seems to be 
in a situation where he doesn't want to play for the Packers. Although we don't really know that, he hasn't come out and said 100%, like Deshaun Watson did, that he doesn't want to play for his current team and that he refuses to play for his current team. He did skip minicamp, but many players do skip minicamp. And he could afford the loss of money associated with not going to minicamp and the Packers didn't even have to charge him for missing minicamp if they didn't want to. And I'm not really clear on whether they did or not, but they didn't have to. So uh, the big test is going to be whether he comes to camp. If he reports to camp, then he's probably going to play out this year. I would assume if he does that, he'll have some agreement in place with the Packers that he'll play out this year, and then after that, he's free to go wherever he wants to go, and that he'll work it out with the Packers to be that type of situation. If he really has this gripe with the front office and doesn't want to play for the Packers, because that's even unknown, really, for 100%. Um, he could have, if he had declared himself to be on the COVID list, any player can do that again this year, they could opt out and be paid their full salary and not play this year at all um, because of uh, COVID. But I don't think he did that. I haven't heard that he's done that. And if he did, it would have been huge news. And he had to do that by July, by July 1st. So I don't believe he did do that, um, but that would have been a perfect way for him to have sat out the year and collected his salary from the Packers. The fact that he didn't do that probably to me means that he does intend to come to camp when camp opens and he does intend to play for the Packers this year and then see what the situation is after the year or work out something that is in his favor after the year is after the season is over um it's not and it's not just you know there you know, a lot of the reports you know that it was because they drafted um jordan love it's not exclusively that there's a lot of things that go into it it's complicated um it's that they're not giving him the weapons that he needs, which is connected to drafting Jordan Love, moving up to draft Jordan Love and not drafting wide receivers or offensive linemen or whatever. Uh, but um, the, he's just, um, he's, and the fact that they didn't communicate with him, the fact that they intended to draft Jordan Love. So he feels like he's just an employee, but he's like their most important employee He's not being let in on their plan, what they want to do. He wants job security, which he doesn't have past, I think, two years. I think his contract is another two seasons, something like that. So he wants to be, he wants to feel like he's part of the decision making, given a long term contract, longer term at least than what he's got, that type of thing. And the Packers are not willing to do that as we have seen, otherwise they would have. There were things that the Packers could have done in the past, like restructuring his contract um, to make it go out further years so that they had more money under the cap that they could spend so that they could go get other weapons for Rodgers, and they haven't done that. So there are um, issues between him and the front office that may not be able to be worked out. And then um, he will, you know, we'll see what he does. The speculation is, my, my personal opinion is that he comes back, he plays this year, but he works something out with the Packers that says, I only have to play this year and then I'm gone. And I can go wherever I want to go. But what do you guys think about all these situations? Um, I think that it's, um, you know, the Bauer situation and the Watson situation are just stupid you make all that money don't put yourself in this kind of a situation and those two guys did and uh rogers i mean who knows what rogers is gonna do um but uh, he at least um 
hasn't done anything illegal. He hasn't done anything immoral. He's just not happy with his situation, and that's fine. A lot of people in America aren't happy with their situation. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Hey, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. And you're going to get great content like this. And I intend to keep doing this series as well uh, when I find some dirty laundry. Dirty laundry, Don Henley. So um, that is it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.